What is even more challenging for Italian speakers is to pronounce a diphthong when there is only one letter. And sometimes this one letter is a diphthong sound. Okay, so this is actually something that surprises a lot of people. The word only, we have a diphthong. It's not only, it's not o, it's o, only, okay, only. The same as this word, vacation, okay? It's vacation, not vac or vac, okay, <laughs> well, I'm not trying to make it, vacation, okay? So the letter A is pronounced as a diphthong. Okay, twice, vacation. Okay, this one is actually the part that I would encourage you to practice um, because um, this is a very common thing that is missing uh, when Italian speakers speak English and that's something that is um, that should be addressed. So drilling the words for each diphthong and practicing the minimal pairs might be a good idea. So. You can use these pairs that I'm coming up with here, but you can also look for more pairs online. Okay, here is just an example, like to show you how to do it, how to do it later on, on your own. We have words like low and law, bait and bet, coat and caught. When you speak Italian, like, or maybe you're not even realizing that you're raising and falling and raising the intonation, quite a lot. And if you do the same thing in English, it sounds really strange, okay? So when we apply these intonation patterns from Italian in English, it sounds distracting in English because in English, the intonation has very strict rules. And let's talk a little bit about the j t role plays because that's the, the part that all of you have to perform and how to sound natural and confident in that part. First of all, when you receive the task, the role play task, step one is to analyze it. Okay, so read the role play and identify the level of formality. Okay, avoid rambling and vague statements. Okay, rambling is that when you just start like blah, 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 and drift apart a little bit and mm, you are not focused on the question or the topic asked. And vague statements are saying things that are kind of obvious, kind of cliches, like that everybody knows that and you're not reinventing the wheel with this statement. Okay? Try to make sure that the statements that you say are supported with the argumentation, not just like, it is important to eat healthy. Yeah, kind of. Th this is a, an example of a vague statement. For whom? Like, why is it important? Like, always try to think about like being more specific with what you're saying. Okay. I have a few recommendations of, of the books that I think are great for the beginners, for people who want to start building the, their knowledge about geopolitics. Yeah, some people say that it's impossible, but it is possible to improve speaking on your own. 